Hi, I'm Joe Valesco at ZPAX, and this is our uh, triplex tent setup. Uh, this is the three person version in our Plex tent series. Uh, the first thing you want to do is find the head end of the tent. Uh, the head end has labels at the end so you can find it easily. Uh, it actually doesn't really matter which corner you start at, it's symmetrical, so just start at any of the four corners. So I'm coming across to the opposite front corner guy line. I'm going to pull it out tight and then I'm going to come back about five or six inches. Uh, the amount you come back determines how high the peak of the tent is going to be. Adjust your trekking poles to about 48 inches, one for the front, one for the back. The handle of the trekking pole gets inserted at the front peak of the tent. You want the pole to be at just a little bit of an angle. The back of the tent is exactly the same. I'm going to insert the handle of the back trucking pole at the back peak of the tent. Take out the corner. Wall guy lines. Get this corner. Uh, there's actually three guy lines on the wall. Uh, depending on how windy it is, you can use all of them or just one. Um, if you have them adjusted just right, you might be able to get away with one stake for all three. That's what I'm going to do right now. If it was windier out, I might use multiple stakes and sway them out to the sides for more stability for the wall. But in, for this, this is pretty, that's pretty good. Um, you can use a minimum of eight stakes or up to twelve, depending on how you do the wall pile. Uh, both sides of the tent have entryways with uh, our storm door system. Uh, these doors can be rolled up out of the way, like you see there, or they can be clipped down to a carabiner on the front skyline. So both sides of this can be closed up completely, or they can both be rolled up depending on the weather. So, I'm going to get inside. The uh, triplex is really big. Uh, the floor space is 60 inches wide. Uh, that's wide enough to fit three normal width uh, sleeping pads. Uh, you can get an idea of the depth if I sit way back here. Uh, plenty, plenty of space for three average sized people to lay side by side. Uh, or it would be a good tent for two people with wider width pads with some extra space, or maybe two people and a dog, or that sort of thing. Um, it has the same length as our duplex tent, uh, 90 inches, which is more than I need, and plenty for a taller person. You can probably see I've got an extra couple feet above my head of extra space. Uh, you can store gear at the ends of the tent or in the vestibule area. Uh, if you come or come inside, I want to show the bathtub floor. Uh, the bathtub floor on this tent is just like just like our, the Soulplex and the Duplex. 
Uh, there's actually a gap here with screen between the floor and the ceiling of the tent, and it's held up by these uh, two elastic bands here. Uh, if this tent ever did get condensation, the condensation would run down the ceiling and then out through this downward sloping screen on the floor. Um, another thing that you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the, the tarp of the tent actually sticks out about four inches uh, past the bathtub of the tent. So what that means is if the rain is falling straight down or if the wind is blowing this way, you can leave the doorway open and the rain will fall and hit the ground rather than falling onto your bathtub. So I'm going to take it down. For a three-person tent, it's not particularly big. It packs up into our medium plus stuff sack, which is about seven by thirteen inches. And that's the Hexman Triplex. Thank you.